Hi everybody. It's kind of sunny today, kind of overcast. It's weird. It's a weird mix. I'm not sure where to go today though. What am I feeling? I'm watching episode two of Kanye West's documentary. It's so good. It just shows his whole come up. It's fascinating. Anyway, I've just finished packaging all these. This is basically the last of it. I have a couple things left, but I don't know what to do with them. So I have like some clear quartz ones that I didn't list on the website. And I got like three more of these. I don't know, I might do some giveaways, who knows? Or I could just sell them. But that's all I got left after, out of like all the hundreds that I had. That's it, that's all that remains, it's really cool. Thank you guys, appreciate it. All right, let's go outside, catch some sun, get these posted. What time is it? Sorry, three, nice. Not bad, not bad. That was really pleasant. I was only in the post office for, for a few minutes. It's very warm. Very warm today outside. I want to go somewhere where I can get the sun and also some trees. So I found somewhere that's like 15 minutes away. I'm gonna go for that. Spend an hour there. So we've come to a spot down by the ocean. It's like the biggest forest in the area that I could find. Let's uh, go for a wonder. It's called Glan Vainal on the Vainal Estate. Where am I? Yeah. So this should all be forest. Enjoy views of Flans Nowhere across the rushing tide of the Met Strait. Catch a glimpse of the dramatic landscape of Snowden. Cool. Let's go in. Wonder. I've actually never been here before. So what I do is I I open up Google Maps and I look for large patches of forests. Even if it's not that large, because Honestly, this day there's not many forests left. But even the smaller patches, like this one's not that big, but it's the biggest in the area. I look for this stuff, and then I know that it's either gonna be private or public. Public is fine, but private, you just gotta be a bit, bit sneakier. <laughs> Generally, I never get caught in the woods. Like, I don't think I've ever been caught in a woods before. So there's nothing to worry about. All right, check it out. These are like the, the Welsh national flower. They're called daffodils. They're all coming up. There we go. The first things that pop up in spring, they'll grow everywhere, all along the side of the road, in my garden, everywhere. I don't know why they're so prevalent. We start late, late February, early March usually. But that's a good sign. That happens first, and then we get the leaves. The leaves are the exciting bit. When all the leaves come back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh no. <laughs> come on. They've deforested it. No. No, really? These are nice fences. Such a rare, such a rare sight, blue and green. Like full blown blue and green, my favorite. It's just happening. Ah, I wasn't gonna complain about it. <laughs> I didn't think it was that big of an issue, but like, look how much forest they destroyed. They destroyed all of that. The last video I was complaining about this whole deforestation thing on a, on a micro scale. The forest I was in was like a pine forest and they were saying that pine, pine trees aren't native to the UK anyway. So they were planted to be destroyed. Well, riddle me this. These trees are not pine trees. So why are they deforesting this area? Like they've entirely cleared it out. Why? Damn it, bro. See, Google Maps hasn't updated the fact that they've destroyed all the trees. I don't want to know this is happening. I just came to walk through the forest, but they've destroyed it. So what the hell do I do? Not talk about it? It's so unnecessary. I just wanted to walk through the woods. Why are you killing the woods? This is meant to be a national trust property. Like, are they, <laughs> they're not protecting it very well. Danger, harvesting operations. It's so hard to ignore.
So the National Trust, are they just a logging company then? Because it doesn't look like they're actually protecting anything. They just buy things up and pretend like they're going to look after it, and then harvest all of it. Wait, look. That takes decades, bro. That takes more than my lifetime to make. They're just chopping it up like it's nothing. <laughs> We're not gonna have anything left. I think this is the reason I'm never gonna have a kid. Like, I'm never gonna have a child because there's not gonna be any kind of fun, livable existence for them. If it's like this for me, I don't wanna bring another generation in. It needs to stop. <sighs> so depressing, bro. Like, they've, they've left the trees on the edge of the path to make it look normal, but I, ha, nothing's normal about this. It's just, they just disastered it. Look at the size of these trees, man. That's so much life that they just took away. I, why do they, why do they think that they, they, they can do that? Why do they think they're just allowed to? No one should have permission to take life. Doesn't matter if it's a plant or an insect. Like, no one should have permission to take a life. No one's life is better than anyone else's. And that includes trees and plants. Like, they didn't even cut this tree down, but because the soil is so ruined by all the machinery, it's just fallen over. <laughs> Bruh. <laughs> Come on, like, I just wanted to have a nice walk in the woods. I didn't expect the woods to be gone. And that's the thing is, this is not uncommon. This is happening everywhere, all over the UK. And the UK barely has anything left, and they think they can just secretly get rid of the rest of it, because everyone's so busy doing their nine to fives to not even pay attention, to not even care. Just smash a day at the office and then go get KFC. Don't even look at nature. Bruh. Come on. What's the point? What are you even gonna do with that? It's not even, it's not like you can make anything with a stump now. What was the point? Perfectly healthy tree, just destroyed it. Sorry right, guys, I try not to focus on these things, but I can't ignore it. All right, what can I talk about? I, I wanted to talk about the, uh, the seven day barefoot challenge thing. I realize the challenge is quite intense. <laughs> asking you guys to be barefoot for a whole week you don't have to do that but i would like some clips of people trying barefooting at least one time out in nature because i've only received a few clips and like i can't I, wa I wanted some more so i could get a few minutes out of it so uh yeah just uh send me a video of barefooting in nature and show your scenery i want to see where you guys where, where you guys are at what kind of nature you have cool that's all yeah send it to me on my instagram or my email's down below, you can send the clips there. Check this out. I found an abandoned church. In the woods. It's even got a spire. And broken windows, which means I can climb in. Wow. Alright, let's get a little... A little urbex thing going. Oh, there's a hole in the front door. Perfect.
not really much to this place. Unfortunately. So there wasn't really much to it. There was a room downstairs, but it was just freaky. I didn't really want to, I don't want to get too close to it. So it looked like it was a church that was used. They've emptied it and now it just seems like a tomb. I was gonna like take some only fans pics in there, but I felt too disrespectful. Yeah, I can't really figure out much about it. It's just a bit strange. That's the tower that I climbed. I only got to that bit, so I don't know how you're supposed to get to the top. There is a rope there. But... Oh, there's a bell in the top. Well, how do you get up there then? Huh. There's a bell. So this tunnel underneath goes all the way around it, and there's a room, which I saw from the inside. Freaky. I'm not a fan of churches with basements, really. Like, what do they do in a church basement, you know? <laughs> Nothing good. These are kinda cool. It's really well built, but it just doesn't seem very accessible once you're in there. It's just, you've got a basement, then you've got like a, a pupil area, but nothing, nothing to access the roof, and I'm confused. Because there's a bell up there. Ah, uh, did I miss something? I just access the stairs. Yeah, weird. Honestly, if I wasn't alone, I'd probably go down there, but it's just something about a church basement. It just seems very unsettling. And a rope there. How do you even get... Oh, oh, I see. Ah, okay. So to get up there, you go up the ladder, through the window that I was at, and then you meet, you're on the roof. That's so sketchy though. I'm not feeling it today, but I'll come back for it. I'll definitely come back for that. I'm kind of thinking like, I want to take an OnlyFans pic here, because it's so unique. It's a fun little find. Like an abandoned church in the woods. <laughs> you, know, you don't come across this very often. a mockery. That's the National Trust logo. They have a leaf as their logo. Well, what are they doing? They're not protecting it. <laughs> They've just allowed corporate interests to come in and steal everything. It's a shame I never got to see it in its prime. This is how I see it now. Just to give you an idea of the height of the trees that were destroyed. <laughs> it's horrible. This is what's happening? This is just happening. I would like to see people argue this in the comments. Like, what's the, what's the purpose of this one? I feel bad for the people that live over there. This was their view, and now it's been entirely demolished. <laughs> Bruh. What is the reason for the savagery? Welcome to the tree graveyard. Relax and take a walk while you still can. A bird's life doesn't matter to the National Trust. That's a walled garden. <laughs> Is this next? Are they gonna just roll this next? Beautiful only fast picture here while the sun was setting. The bridge in the background. As I was getting dressed, a man went past in his boat, so uh, I guess I got caught again today. <laughs> Whenever I get caught, it's always men, so I'm not really bothered. Am I really gonna be that guy? I think I'm gonna become that guy. 
I'm going to email the National Trust and just ask them to give me some legitimate reasons why that forest needed to come down. And if they say anything other than profit, I know they're lying. But I'd like to get a response from them, so... Yeah, I guess if they ever respond, we'll get a follow-up video and I'll, and I'll go into detail on, like, on this. They're supposed to be responsible for looking after these forests. I'm not really going to be that guy. Does anyone even use email anymore? I have like, <laughs> I have hundreds of thousands of unread emails. I can't bring myself to go through them. It's just so boring. So sorry if anybody out there has emailed me. I just can't be bothered with it. It's like such a non-user friendly device, like email. Ugh. So every day I go out without a plan. I don't really know where I'm going to go for that day. And then I, I just wonder why I'm drawn to the places that I'm drawn to. Like, I didn't know this place existed. I've never been here before. But I was drawn to it on the map. And I don't know if it's to make me feel worse about myself or about humanity, or is it so that I can amplify and show people what's going on? Like, I know there's a war going on in multiple parts of the world, but I don't live there, okay? I can't report on that stuff. I can only report on what's happening here next to me. For some reason I was drawn here today. So I guess that's my job for the day. I gotta show you guys what they're doing to all the natural beauty in Wales. This is happening everywhere. There's a war against trees and it's been going on forever. And I just don't understand it. Without them, it'd be a real hard time breathing. But I mean, people smoke. So humans don't really care about breathing anyway. What I do, I really enjoy breathing. I really enjoy being able to speak using the air that's in, in, on this planet. Why was I drawn here? Because I just feel like crap now. I was feeling nice and charged up from the sun. And then, then I have to witness this. It just looks like a battleground. Like some giant came through and kicked everything. But the giants are us. They're just flesh suits. They're skeletons and giant metal toys. And all I think about is money. I found another abandoned building. Wow. Tucked away in peace. deforestation didn't stop. It's over here as well. They really make it hard. They make it hard to live. They really do. Have you ever seen a bench so high? <laughs> it's an elevated bench. You have to step on this to get up it. <laughs> okay, it's it's dark. I'm gonna, I'm gonna get out of here. The low light capabilities of, capabilities of the GoPro is not that good, and um, it takes away the stabilization. So whenever I'm filming at nighttime, it looks a lot shakier than it is. It's because the stabilization doesn't work at night. I'm guessing this is a bird's nest, so you can watch birds. Yeah, kind of nice, I guess. I'd love to build this kind of stuff in my own space. Use wood that's fallen from in the forest and then just build this kind of thing. I've watched sheep a lot, and they don't really sleep. Well, not, not very much. Like, I'll get up at four in the morning or something and have a look outside and they're eating. They're eating at four in the morning. So my guess is that most animals don't sleep a full night, they'll just take naps. And I guess a sheep's life isn't very draining, they just kind of walk leisurely and eat grass. So maybe they don't have, have to sleep all night, maybe they just eat continuously all day every day. 
Don't forget you can check in with us again at any time by asking your device to play. Alright, so this is like the hour when I'm home and I just talk to my family and like eat food. Uh, there was some spare curry, so I stole some. Watching the Kanye documentary again and uh, gonna text Poppy for a little bit and then I'm gonna do a stream. That's my plan, that's what I'm doing. Uh, yeah, MacGuffin! Let's go! <laughs> you finally resubbed. <laughs> After all the donos. Yeah, thank you, dude. But I want the screen to look like. Yo, what just happened? MacGuffin! You just gifted a sub? I'll probably do that tonight. MacGuffin, what the heck? Gifted a tier 1 sub to Ivana Ray. Let's go! There you go, Ivana. Welcome, welcome. Yo, what? MacGuffin! You just give five more? You're gonna be doubling the size of the server soon. Oh no, what just happened? Is that MacGuffin again? What? MacGuffin! MacGuffin! Oh no. Oh my god. Oh no. I think you just- I think you just got beat. <laughs> you got beat! Thank you, MacGuffin. What the crap? You're now number one. A lucky sissy kill. <laughs> what is it? Wait, you're gifting as well? I'm so confused! Why are you both doing this? <laughs> so I'm gonna say. <laughs> the problem is that when you. Oh, I can play now. Okay. Hey! You guys are insane. <laughs> Come <laughs> on! It, it's alright. I'll take miles. <laughs> I'm just gonna do like a. Alright, let's come down. Bro. <laughs> the war's never gonna Are end. I'm gonna drop this. Save it's like. multiple biomes, it's like a huge island. I don't know what just happened, but I streamed for three and a half hours. I got gifted 100 subs. That's insane. That's like 500 bucks. But then Twitch takes 50%. So I made like 250 bucks and then there's like donors the whole time as well. That was a crazy, like, I don't know what was going on. There were just two people battling it out trying to get, get first place for most subs. I'm tired. I gotta be up for nine tomorrow. There's a Pokemon event going on. I don't know how I'm gonna do it. I'll take my dog out real quick and then start this edit. If I can get to bed by one, I'll be very, very happy. It's three and I'm still not done editing. But yeah, thanks for hanging out once again, guys. I appreciate all of you. Uh, I'll be here again tomorrow. I'm here every day. Uh, thanks for all your comments. I haven't actually read the comments in the past like three or four videos, so I need to go through the comments tomorrow morning. Tomorrow's gonna be busy actually, I don't have time. Time's not even real. Right now is the only moment that it exists. I hope tomorrow exists. I hope I get there. Okay, bye bye. <laughs>